It is 6.18 Eastern Standard Time. And I am here on a Sunday morning. I don't think I have ever waken up this early on a Sunday morning in my entire life. And this is going to be the worst morning of my entire life. How's everyone doing? I have this bowl of yogurt and honey to keep me relatively sane. I have some snacks over there. My goldfish are gone. I deleted them all like yesterday, so that's uh, that's unfortunate. But at least we got some peanut butter crackers just in case, you know? Uh, I got everything to make sure that I very much eat my depression away, um, or at least try to. Let's just quickly go and look at these lineups real quick because um, <laughs> it's, look, it's not looking good. It's not looking good, everyone. Uh, it never was looking good, to be fair. The one upside is the fact that uh, we don't have to face up against Kaoru Mitoma. Vietnam, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Honestly, honestly, no, no, this is going to kill us. Um, but you know what? It, it's all right. It's all right. Like relatively normally expected lineup, at least uh, for however many starters we're missing in this game. Phil Muen, obviously getting his um, debut. Nguyen Tang Bing, uh, which is uh, probably going to be our best defender in this game. Viang as well should be relatively solid. I mean, like the thing is, right? Like I'm, I'm trying to speak in terms of just like if we had just even the slightest bit of hope. How many shots are you guys having today? None. Maybe one off target but let's see what else we have here it's one tie is playing so i'm i'm happy about that at least like relatively speaking our defense is as good as it can be tuan hai and uh ding Bak, which is actually like the big surprise here because van tuan was supposed to start this game i guess uh but then random injury popped up yeah that's about what our like sixth seventh eighth ninth injury of the f***ing tournament vietnam's cars I hope so too, man. Look at the team we're facing. I know it's not as, like, stacked as the actual main Japanese lineup, but there are still some really good players on that team, you know? Minamino, Endo, Hidemasa Morita, Yunya Ito is the one I'm super, super excited to watch. He's going to f***ing kill us. Sugawara is going to blaze past every single player we have on the wings. It's it's not looking good, man. Do home zone is probably the only avenue of creativity we have he's he's also the cover boy here as you can see you know looking good looking good my guy from the looks of things twin ang and um taishan uh will be playing a double pivot it's uh it's uh it's it's, it's looking great it's it's looking fantastic man oh jesus christ jesus christ oh, oh. Vietnam! 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 Hold on, we're missing one thing. Up against one of the tournament favorites, if not the outright favorites, to lift what would be a fifth AFC Asian Cup trophy. And Japan have selected a very strong 11, which includes nine players who in your top leagues, except Hosoya, who scored 14 goals for Kashiwara Racing Korean. Republic is Kim Jong Hyok. There we go. There we go. All right, now, now we're really set. Objective: park the bus in front of the goal, Allegri ball style. You know, I mean, if we just like quickly take the bolts off the the, the actual go po goal post in the net, like there's no net. They can't score, right? Just reverse the goal. Yeah, actually, it's golf. We're playing golf today, guys. The Asian Cup actually changed their rules today. Please, God. Please, God. Please, God. How am I awake for this? Listen, man. The dedication reaches 100% when it's time to see Maxwell suffer. I know how this goes. Ah, uh, Hajime. Why couldn't we have faced you when you were still not really that great with this team? Honestly, why did we draw with Japan? What what did I do to deserve this? Okay, uh, first Japanese attack, and... Nothing comes out of it just yet. Alright, we have the ball for more than three seconds. A foul? 
You know what? We're still f***ed. We're still f***ed. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. Lovely stuff. Ah. We still have it though. On the second ball. Go on. Go on. Go on. Hold up. Wait a minute. Ding back. Ding back still. Oh, never mind. Zion Suzuki. He's from... Um, where is he from? I feel like it's Minnesota or something like that. First three minutes, we haven't conceded. That's 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 good so far. If we can go the first ten minutes without conceding, I will be relatively happy. Japan now building up here from the back, very slowly but surely they will pull off some bullshit, and I'm not looking forward to it. First five minutes, we're halfway there, boys. We're halfway there. I love this yogurt. You got that tang bing. No worries there. No worries there. Interesting about Vietnamese goalkeeper. He doesn't speak much Vietnamese. He has been. Learning. Now he like me. <laughs> he, he like me. How am I awake for this? Listen, man. Again, like I said before, when the scrawny little Vietnamese kid is here to suffer, everyone watches. This is content for people. You know, this has always been content for people. You know, I just learned yesterday that uh, San Marino has a. Um, a museum of torture. So I'm just saying, like, there's there's numerous museums of torture. And that, that really just tells you. You know? From the very, Who is gonna very win the Africa beginning. Cup and let's be honest, Hong Kong is gonna win the Asian Cup. <laughs> I, all I'm hoping is the Nigeria crash out because I want to see the reaction of delusional Nigerian fans. Who's gonna win, though? Hmm. I want to say Morocco, but that seems too easy. When it's too easy for Morocco, they never perform. Like, I, I don't know what it is with Morocco or the AFCON. They just don't perform. Algeria, everyone's getting pretty old. Senegal, I mean, Senegal always has, like, a pretty good chance. Egypt always are very good. It's just that they're not good enough once they reach the final. I don't think Senegal's going to win again because the last, like, few AFCONs, it's been a different winner. So how about we go for Egypt this time? You know what? Let's give Mo Salah just some kind of happiness. Two more minutes to bliss, everyone. We just man manage these games by every 10 minutes. It's the only way I can keep my sanity. It is an interesting approach we have here. It just looks like either we'll try and build from the back and then like, well, actually we always do this. We, we build from the back and then since we don't really have anyone to create anything, we'll just lob the ball up and hope for something. Seemingly it's working a little bit in our favor just because Japan's headers aren't exactly the most accurate. So there's a good chance that we could win the second ball. How long does that last? How long does Japan get used to uh, that? Um, give it like five minutes. Oh, Jesus. No, 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 not here. Well, that is a corner for Japan. It begins, my friends. It begins. As I've said before, we are the shortest team in this tournament. Oh my fucking god, dude. Let's not. Let's not. Let's not. Oh, this is gonna be a great, great morning. Oh, Kill me. Yeah, yeah, ex exactly 10 minutes of hope. At least for the first 10 minutes, we didn't concede. Whatever. I will say, you know, if there really is a god, why is he making me suffer like this? In Shang Tsung's voice, it has begun! Man, I was in Thailand. I was in Bangkok, specifically, for about 11 days. And, man, had I not been so fucking tired every single time I went to Bangkok, there's like a specific temple in the original Mortal Kombat movie that I really wanted to go to. It was about two hours away from Bangkok. Oh shit, what's going on here? We're, uh, there's a little roar here. And then we immediately pass it back. Two hours away from uh, from Bangkok, about north, is the temple that they used for the Mortal Kombat movie, which they called like the Temple of Light, located in China in the movie, which I always thought was pretty funny. That would've been really cool to visit. Didn't get the chance to. We'll do it next time. Okay. Thing back. Okay, not bad, not bad. Okay, ding bang. What? Oh, what? Hold on. Now hold on a second. It's crazy how Wing Kong Foam has just fallen off a cliff since 2019. Oh my god. Oh, oh, what the fuck? Say 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. And it's a quite remarkable header in the end from Lin Buck. Who leans away. What the f There's hope. There's hope. There's hope. There's actually hope. There's no fing way. There's no fing way. There's no fing way. What you. What you. What you scored off a of fing. <laughs> Vietnam A! Vietnam A! What a header. What a header, by the way. 19 years old. Getting his first start. I just knew for a fact that if we weren't starting Van Thuan, something, just maybe something would happen. Ding, bang, come on. Now we really see what Japan's all about. Thuan Ang, Ding Bak. Okay, go on, Ding Bak. Go on, the 19-year-old sensation. Do we have a new breakout star over here? This guy is looking phenomenal every single time he goes forward. Japan definitely doing a lot more pressing, putting a lot more pressure on us. Yeah, they, they're looking a lot more serious than they were about 10 minutes ago. But we are holding up pretty decently well. There's no way we're trying to do that now. <laughs> Need to see more Tuan Hai in this game. In some way. I don't think it's going to be possible with how we're playing right now. But it would be nice to see something. Mm. Mm. Oh Jesus, man. They about nearly got that through. The Ang has been really good. Tang Bing has been really good. Our fullbacks have been a little iffy at times, I can't lie. But it's looking good. My guy is writing notes down. That that can't be good. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. <sighs> Almost on high. Almost. If you can overcome the Japanese once, you can do it again. Oh, that's a really good ball. That's a really good ball. Ah, uh, f***ing hell, man. Oh, f***ing hell. Ding Bak is playing like a 25-year-old veteran right now. I am in love with this guy. I've only seen him play today, really. But god damn, man. For an Asian Cup debut, he's looking really good. He's doing well in attack, he's dropping back, just making sure there's another passing option for the Vietnamese in defense, which really helps a lot, especially since he's super composed. No one call him the Viet Messi. Please, no one do that, okay? Whenever someone is called the, like, Messi of a certain country, they're bound to fail. Good defending. Oh, go on. Go on, go on, go on, no, no, no ref, no, give him a yellow, give him a yellow, thank you, thank you, you don't hurt our star boy like that. Okay, see what we have here. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad, oh my god, oh my god! Would you believe to Vietnam? There's no way, there's no way, there's no way, there's no way! Way. I don't believe my eyes. I don't believe my fucking eyes. It's two one. Oh my god. What? What are we doing? What is going on? Oh my god. This is the greatest. This is the greatest morning of my life. This is the greatest morning of my fucking life. I swear to God, VAR. If you do this to me now, if you do this to me now, VAR. If you do this to me now. Away from danger. And instead he just sort of helps it into the path of Fan Tun Hai. Vit Nam Vit Nam Oh god. Okay, don't don't celebrate too early. Great block. Great block. Brilliant set piece, by the way. Uh, mistake by the keeper and Tuan Hai, like I said. We needed a little bit of him, and he's there. Again, there when a Japanese team is in front of him, he's not afraid. He's done this before, he can do it again. The nice thing about this Vietnamese team as well is, like, we haven't built it around a single star player or anything. So even though we have, like, five of our starters out, like, yeah, that sucks. This is still very much a team effort. You're seeing this right now. I just didn't expect it to be this good. As a Japan fan, Vietnam has played a tight defense so far. Mm, mm -hmm. The thing was, right, like, I, I was just imagining basically what would happen 
um, when we played Iraq because like we had a solid defense, but Iraq were still finding opportunities here and there. Like they were still finding holes. They just weren't very good at finishing. But right now, like things are looking really good. To be fair, Japan are playing mostly on the ground. Iraq played a lot more in the air. We're almost there, boys. We are almost at a half time. A whole five minutes and maybe like, I don't know, another four after that. And they did score from one of these sort of situations. Nice tell to it. Go ahead, not fully away. Oh, okay. Run, men. Run like you've never run before. Ah, they closed our options almost immediately. Credit to, to, to uh, Japan there. It looked like a unit there. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. Great block. Great block. We're almost to halftime. We're almost to halftime, and I can just, like, just breathe a little easier. No, no, that's not a foul. That's not a foul. He, he definitely got that off very easily. Oh, no, 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 no. What a save. What a save. That was a great save. We can't be doing that, man. If there's just even a little uncertainty, just clear it. F*** it. Whatever, right? Ugh, sake, man. You know what? It's still too all. I, whatever, you know? I thought I was going to be absolutely f***ing miserable today. And things could change. You never know with the second half. But... Right now, I'm content. Three points would have been the greatest day of my life. A single point, I'm still completely fine with that. Honestly, that's the best result we could possibly get. Realistically speaking. Come on, guys. Let's not do this, please. God, Japan are looking a whole lot more dangerous. A whole lot more composed. Oh, do not let Yunya cook, please. Ooh, let this half end sooner. I can't take this anymore. <laughs> Minamino is looking really, really good. It's just like... I'm sorry, what the fuck? We were so close to greatness. And by close, I mean like 50 minutes away. Firstly, we had like two defenders on him. And he still pulled that sh** off. Like, come the f*** on, man. We're actually playing the blue lock team. Just, just blow the whistle, ref. I'm not trying to see more of this sh**. Just, just... <laughs> what a game. What a game. Chad, what are we, what are we saying? What are we saying? Have I seen Viz's tweet? No, I have not. Last time someone just said, Oh, Viz is talking shit about you. Obviously he wasn't. Like, I know he wasn't. Why do you guys do this? Why, why, I hate you all. I hate you all. I thought he tweeted something about Vietnam. You got me excited. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, wait, he did tweet something. <laughs> yeah, if we can keep this up and, you know, keep this up into the next games, because obviously Iraq play a different game. I still don't think we're winning that. I'll be completely honest with you. But if we play against Indonesia like that, holy f we're cooking Mark Clock. We're cooking his white ass. Do you think some players of the current Vietnam squad? No, <laughs> no, God, no. Realistically speaking, I could see some players moving on to like Matai well, later on. Sorry, late to the party. Oh, don't and even worry. Maintained 30 to zero. Let's go Vietnam. Support from your Filipino brother D. Much love, much love from the. F uh, to the Philippines. May I see Mac will be shirtless if we win this game 4-3. Sure. So will Japan continue to put on the pressure like they did at halftime? We will just have to see. Even a loss, even a 3-2 loss, if we hold this to 3-2, I'll be fine. Like, it, it, it'll suck, obviously, it'll lose. But at the same time, a negative one goal difference is easily one of the most favorable things we could think about. But if we can emphasis on the can get a third goal tie this up hold them to that we can enter iraq with a little less urgency i mean actually we we can enter the indonesia game with a little less urgency and even less with uh iraq if we can beat indonesia because i mean four points is enough to get you through it looks like we're really just bunkering down here 
we only have Tuan Hai above the halfway point. Uh, halfway line, which I'm fine with. We just gotta make sure if you defend too much, you're just basically, I mean, yeah, you're basically just soaking in and inviting pressure. We have to like at least create a, like at least one or two more chances in this game, even if it's just on the counter attack, you know? Just keep them on their feet. That's the big thing here. Hey, Maxwell, sorry late to the party. Oh, no worries, bro. Damn, attained 30 to 0. Let's go, Vietnam. Support from your Filipino brother. Oh, D. that just repeated again. All right, come on, Tuan Hai. There we go. There we go. Keep him on their feet. Keep him on their feet. Ding back now. <sighs> Not Nakamura again, please. Please, no. Please. Thank you. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, everything so far is uh, feeling like the beginning of the first half. Hey, Maxwell, sorry late to the party. Why the f*** is it? It's very much just kind of calmed down for the most part. Nothing too crazy, which like, believe it or not, I'm, I'm pretty content with. Uh, but if we... If we can just not concede again, thanks. We've done really well uh, containing Yunya Ito. Not much Minamino, but Yunya Ito, like he has got nothing. Hey, Maxwell, sorry late to the party. And damn retained 30 to 0. Out wide now. Ooh, ding, back! Oh my god! We are seeing a star be born here, which is great. Because we didn't have, like, anyone I, I was thinking of besides, like, uh, Van Kang. No, 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 no. Okay. Van Kang. He's coming on. He's coming on, but we're taking off thing back. We're taking off thing back. Good defending. Viet Ang, man. Viet Ang has been so good in this game. Ay-ya, uh, ay-ya, uh, ay-ya, uh, ay-ya, uh, he slipped, he f***ing slipped, Jesus, okay. I'm not trying to see a Minamino hat trick, I'll be honest. I'm not, I'm not trying to see that. I would say so far, because this is, this is Philip Nguyen's, like, first proper competitive match. Now, there was the qual- or the, not the qualifier, the friendly. What happened here? Oh, it's offside. F damn it. But this is, like, his first competitive match. I'd say he's done pretty well so far. He was a little shaky in the first half when I came to that corner that led to the first Japanese goal. Well, that and our shambolic defending for whatever reason. But so far, like, I would say he's he's done pretty well. The communication in the back has looked pretty solid. Honestly, like, I love uh, Dang Van Lam. The problem with him, however, is he is a little bit mistake prone. We saw that, like, twice against Iraq. 20 more minutes it looks like we're very much just content with running this game out just going with the three two if need be if we score a third that's great and all if they score here i was gonna cry now not to take away from this performance because it's been fantastic let's be completely fair here it's not the strongest japanese side but it is what it is I will gladly take what I'm seeing right now. And honestly, those are still some really, really solid players, and we're putting up a fight against them, you know? The one thing that many people were worried about was the fact that, oh, is this the same Vietnamese team that is going to put up a fight against anyone they come up against? Because that's what Park instilled in this team all those years back. None of our players look scared. Every, like, obviously, like, Japan's going to overwhelm our defense a good bit, but we've been so composed in the midfield. I thought, coming into this game, that this was going to be a beat down. So this is the the most pleasant surprise possible. Will I flex the fact that we only lost three to Japan? No, but I will be proud of this performance and this will make me look forward to uh, the next two games. Lovely defending. Again, Yunya Ito just nothing. Absolutely nothing. We're giving him nothing. Uh oh, <laughs> they're bringing on Kubo. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> Dakafusa Kubo can change any game very quickly, I'm telling you right now. Fresh legs Kubo versus this Viet defense could could be very interesting. Okay, seven more minutes, boys. Just brace yourselves. Great tackle, but one of our players is that no, that's that's Viet Ang. That's Viet Ang. Oh no. Can we just make sure Viet Ang is okay? Can we can we just 
Can we quickly do that? We want our ding back. We want our ding back. I'm telling you, man, since we took off the 19-year-old sensation, it's just... We've we've done nothing in this game. Can we can we please see if Viang's okay? Like, that's all that matters to me. I Like, whatever, right? Negative two goal difference. That's like... Again, that's still not that bad, right? Honestly, that is exactly how we started the last one. Oh, Jesus f***ing Christ. Not like this, man. I am not trying to see another f***ing- Oh, this man's limping. This man's limping. Oh. Oh, wait, he's back. Wait, he's back? What the f***? Alright, whatever. 4-2, that's fine by me, okay? Let's just- Let's just make sure they don't score again, please. Credits to Japan, though. They looked like frauds in that first half. They've really shown out today. And that's a good way to start the tournament for them, too. Because it's like, you know, you come back from behind like that in your first game. Like, it goes to show just how much resilience you have. When are we going to see the top scores of the 2023 Asian Cup? They keep showing us the 2019 graphic as if that matters. I'm just hoping we don't see, like, 10 minutes of, of out of time. Like, that's really what I'm not trying to see. All right, five minutes, guys. Just don't concede again. We can start, like, 2019 all over again. And this time it's kind of better because, you know, even though it's a negative two goal difference, two goals scored. Oh, and the lights died. Wow. It didn't even take... 45 minutes for this to die. We are. I need to get a new life. Change the score to 4 to 2. Yo, f you. 30 more seconds. And then bliss. I can remember what peace is like. 15 more seconds. Doesn't look like they're really gonna do anything with the ball here. I think Japan's just. just rolling with it. Which I'm totally fine with. Alright, let. Kubo. Kubo, I swear to God. Kubo, I swear to f***ing God. Okay. That, sh that should be it. That should be it. And there we go. 11 straight wins for the Samurai Blue as they take the first step towards... I'm not even mad. I'm not even depressed. You know, I, I came out of this as the winner. GG's, honestly. Honestly. What a game. What a game. It, it fell off, like, in that second half. But, man, that first half was crazy. That first half is full of clips. I, I just know it. I know the Macwell Clips channel will be working overtime. I will not be paying them. Well played. Well played, Japan. Honestly, that was such a great victory for Japan. It didn't even look like they really got phased by the fact that we were 2-1 up, uh, considering they came back with two goals right before halftime. We could easily get second place. I don't think we're getting second place. The thing is, right, Japan, great team. They play on the ground a lot. Iraq is a lot more physical, and they play in the air a lot more. We're not going to be winning those battles, I'm telling you now. We didn't win those battles in the qualifiers, we're probably not going to do it this time, you know. It, it, that's the thing, that's just the aerial game, especially with like height difference, right? But Indonesia, I'm just saying, if, you know, it's a big if here, because obviously like anything can happen, you know. This could go up, this could go down, anything can happen. But if we play like we did today against Indonesia, it's done, it's over. <laughs>